Hi everyone, join me on a busy week in my life as a nursing student. Let's get grinding, shall we? A week in the life of a nursing student at Boston College during midterm season. We actually have a very busy week because we have a lot of tests and papers and stuff like that. We love nursing, we love college and the busyness of it. Um, I'll just give you a gist of what we're doing today. Today is pretty busy. It's Monday of course because it's the first day of the week. So my first class is in 20 minutes from 9.30 to 10.50. Hello. <laughs> it's my pathophysiology class and we have a test in this on Wednesday. So usually I wouldn't go today if the content we're learning isn't on the test, but I'm pretty sure we're learning content on the test. So I'm gonna go and stress out because I won't understand anything. <laughs> oh, I think it's here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> then from 11 to 11.50, I have my first year writing seminar. And you may ask, first year writing seminar as a sophomore? Yeah. From 12 to 1, I'm planning to go to the speaker event about green bioethics or environmental sustainability in healthcare. I don't know if I'll actually go, but maybe I'll go to check it out. It's kind of cool how college has these events that you can go to. And then after almost four hours of busyness, we're going to go to lunch and take our nice, chillaxing one-hour break before our last class. Hey! I'm in the dining hall with Rebecca. She's enjoying her boiled egg. Yeah. Um, class, class went all right today. I was very sad to find out that I didn't need to be in path though because what we are learning isn't going to be on the test on Wednesday. Sad for Olivia, happy for Rebecca. <laughs> yes. Rebecca is my mom. <laughs> of the day, nursing health assessment, our favorite class. Yeah, I like to sleep in this class. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, as you can tell, I'm back in my dorm. So I just finished my last class an hour and 20 minutes ago. We ended like 10 minutes early because she finished the lecture early, which I was so grateful for. Um, I was really awake during that class, you know, I was really enjoying the content about family... family-centered care, but yeah, um, consciousness slipped away from me and I fell asleep for a solid 10 minutes. Took the nicest power nap and feeling very well rested. I'd say that whenever I'm in that class, I always get a great nap. I think the problem is that the class falls right when I get tired during the day. But yeah, so now we're done with all my classes today and basically for the rest of the day, I'm just going to be working on um, my paper that is due today for first year writing seminar. It's just a personal statement, so it shouldn't be that hard, but I'm struggling to form words right now, so it'll be a little bit of a struggle, but I'll also be studying for my pathophysiology test, which is on Wednesday. Yeah, we just have a few... Um, non-academic things later on today that I have to get to, but other than that, it's basically just doing work the whole day and 
getting my stuff done, trying to prepare for all the midterms because basically this week is really busy for me. I have two tests, nursing tests, a pathophysiology and a nursing health assessment clinical lab um, test and then I also have a paper for first year writing seminar. So that doesn't seem like too bad because it's just three things but also keep in mind that last week I had three tests and a project. So this is like really right in the thick of midterm season. I already finished last week, just got this week to go, and then we'll be done with tests for a while. So thank goodness. But two of my tests in the project last week were nursing, and then two of my tests this week are nursing. Yeah, that's basically why I'm vlogging, because I want to show you guys the nursing struggle, the nursing school struggle. Now I'm just going to be doing work, so you guys are just going to watch a time lapse of me doing work and roll the music. <laughs> of the day before we keep on grinding. This is our little break going to Capital Dance Ministry. I have a satellite choreo to attend. So Capital Dance Ministry is basically the first Christian dance ministry on BC's campus. Just plug a little if you're a good dancer. If you're not, you can always join Capital Dance Ministry and dance for God. Yeah, I'm going to learn some choreo today but I don't know the people that well to be honest so I'm not gutsy enough to bring out the camera honestly never gutsy enough to bring out the camera so we're just gonna dance for you a little bit right here so you guys get the gist of what I'm doing you know of my ability. See, you can be a dancer, you cannot. And join me and be not a dancer in a dance ministry. Okay, we're gonna go because we're already late. If I had no cash to spend If I forget we had plans When I feel like breaking down Ooh, you'd be there to hold my hand Don't worry, I won't. I won't. my wellness days essentially so in the mornings me and Rebecca usually go swimming and we swam for about 35 minutes today today's swim was really good I definitely feel like I might be a tad sore tomorrow which is always super exciting because that's like a sign that you push yourself and that like keeps me going bro I have nothing in the morning and then I have stuff from like 4 30 to the night just because in sophomore year of nursing school at Boston College we take this nursing health assessment clinical lab so we're basically in a simulation lab we learn how to do exams like cardiac exams abdomen exams um neuro exam eyes and ear exams and like different stuff like that so we can be prepared to work in the clinical setting in like the hospital next semester um yeah next semester we're going to begin going to the actual hospitals and like seeing real patients which is so crazy so 
I'm not ready for that at all, but we're still in the midst of prepping for that in our clinical lab class. And that's a whole like four and a half hour. That takes up my Thursday mornings. And because classes in college, I don't know if you guys know this, but classes in college are usually like Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes, and then like Tuesday, Thursday classes, because it's not every single day like high school is. So because I have that chunk of time occupied on Thursdays, then I can't have any classes on Tuesdays mornings. So that's basically the gist of it. So my Tuesday mornings are entirely free and I only have class uh, um, from 4.30 to 5.45, which is my Globalization 1 class, which fulfills my history core requirements. Also, just as an FYI for those people who are still in high school and watching this right now, you can't take a push AP US history and get out of a core um, history course, but you can take like AP Euro, AP Euro World History, stuff more like worldly and then you can get out of your um, history courses history one and two so you have two extra slots where you can put classes in so i think taking ap classes is always so good because it's like 90 dollars which is like really expensive or i forget how much it is but like a hundred dollars which is really expensive but imagine how expensive college is so just think about that and when you're in college you can take more classes that you're interested in so definitely taking ap classes is super duper helpful but anyways, I went off in a little bit of a tangent right there. So we're waiting for lunch to open up so we can grab some yummy, yummy food and lower. Now we're going to be just studying um, for my test tomorrow morning, pathophysiology. It's a struggle. It's a struggle, man. So that's just what we're going to be doing from now until like 4 o'clock when we have to go to our globalization class. I had a dream last night, it was different It was you and I and faded television I'm not in love with you, love with you But if I was, here's what I'd do Here's what I'd do If I was in love with you Torn up sheets, all the feathers There's a picket fence somewhere I just have to do it And call me in the afternoon you weigh ahead of the side, flip it in the mirror until you get it right. My pillow's in the shape of you. I'm kind of afraid to move. We're going to our last Were class, globalization. Yay! I hope that they still remember it too. So we're gonna love four feet two. I had a dream last night, it was different. It was you and I and faded television. I'm not in love with you. Hi, my camera kind of died from the condensation from swimming today morning. Oh, I literally think I ruined the camera from water today morning. I mean, oh, it actually looks fine. Wait, are you good? You good, bro? You guys were bathing in this container of rice. Oh, you guys look fine. Do you? I can't tell. So, yeah, I got to put him in some rice. We just tried on nursing so so, Oh yeah, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> I was gonna say nursing clothes. <laughs> we feel so legit right now. Everyone was just hyping each other up. I it know. was so cute. They're like, ooh, that looks good on you. You look like a real nurse. Oh. It is so cute. Inside tunnel vision, I'd take you to Hawaii and be a musician. I'd know when to leave you alone. Wait right till you left stereo. Will you ever know what I went through? Will you wake up in my bed in the afternoon? And I hope that Hi, day is good. Good morning, Olga. What do you want today? Test day. So today is our pathophysiology test. So everyone says anatomy and physiology is super hard in freshman year but honestly not to scare anybody but pathophysiology is harder and i've heard that nursing only gets harder in, throughout the years which is honestly terrifying but we'll take things one step at a time and it'll be all right so today we have our pathophysiology test at 9 30 a.m in the morning it's currently 4 a.m. It's still dark outside. We had to begin grinding and studying because I feel like I'm not prepared for this test at all. 
and even though my time lapse show that I've been working really hard and all that jazz honestly right now I know what the content is about I know we're learning about cardiovascular system and about the respiratory system but other than that I don't really know what's going on so hopefully that'll change in the next five hours um, before my test I did go to sleep at 12 a.m. yesterday, so did get like four hours of sleep, which isn't too, too bad for just one day. So we're gonna grind it out right now, and yeah, wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Rebecca? I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I look so disheveled. Done with the test. Took the full one hour. I guess it wasn't too bad. I honestly don't know. I don't remember anything. My brain has just removed that memory and I'm at a loss for words. But I need to prepare for my next class, first year writing seminar, because I have some reading due today, so I have to do that. I'm in Stokes North, just sitting here on a bench. Hey, got to do some work. I'm so happy that's over though. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy now I can relax for today. Well, not really, but for now I can relax. <sighs> Thank you. 